Welcome to this video about English conversation lessons. Free English conversation lessons. Listening is a natural way to learn the language. We offer a very easy way to learn English. Just listen. Enjoy. Martha, what's wrong? Why are you crying? Jake just broke up with me. I'm sorry. When did this happen? Yesterday. I didn't even know it was coming. He just told me he found someone else. What a jerk. He doesn't deserve you. But it still hurts. I thought I loved him. He didn't treat you that well either. Maybe you don't want to hear this, but I think you can do better. Better or worse. It doesn't matter. I had a lot of feelings for him. I really liked him. It must be really painful. I remember when Josh and I broke up. I was crying for a week. I know I'll get over him. My first breakup was painful because I was naive. Exactly. You'll find someone again. You should get your mind off of this. Let's go shopping. Maybe tomorrow. I don't feel like it tonight. How about coffee down the street? Sure. Hey Matt. I just got a job at a consulting firm. Congratulations. That's great. I'm so happy. I don't have to worry about finding a job and interviewing anymore. When do you start? I start next Monday. You're going to have to put in a lot of hours, you know. He didn't treat you that well either. Maybe you don't want to hear this, but I think you can do better. I know. I'm a little nervous, but it's pretty exciting. I bet. You must be stoked. Yeah. I'm going to celebrate tonight. Wanna hang out? Sure. It's on you right. Of course. How about Toby? Should we call him? I don't know. He's a little depressed. He's having a hard time finding a job right now. I should still tell him. In the least, I can refer him to my company. It might help. That sounds like a good idea. What happened to that girl you were seeing? Oh Jackie. We broke up last week. That was a short relationship. You only started dating two months ago. It was actually a long two months. She was a psycho. What do you mean? She would be laughing one moment, and if I said something insensitive, she would start crying. I didn't want to deal with that. She sounds very emotional. She was a psycho man. One time we were supposed to get together. I was waiting for her call, and when she finally called, she was screaming why I wasn't at her place. Were you supposed to be there? I thought she was going to call when she was done shopping. It was a misunderstanding. She was literally screaming on the phone over this. Okay. You're right. She's a psycho. I'm just glad it's over. Hey Jack. How's it going? I'm falling in love. What? With who? That girl in my econ class. She is so hot. Did you guys go on a date already? No, I didn't even talk to her yet, but I think I'm in love. Does she have a boyfriend? I don't think so. I've been following her around campus and I haven't seen another guy. Dude, you're a stalker man. Just ask her on a date. I plan on running into her in the cafeteria when she's alone. I think I'll ask her then. So why do you think you're in love? She's the only thing I can think of all day long. That's called blind love. Well, I gotta run. Tell me how it goes next week. Alright. I'll talk to you later. What are you doing tomorrow? Nothing really. Let's watch a movie or something. What's on these days? I think they're playing Lord of the Rings. That sounds pretty good. Let's watch that. Where should we meet? How about at the subway entrance? Alright. I'll meet you there at 1 o'clock. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Do you speak English? A little. Are you American? Yes. Where are you from? I'm from California. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Lesson 2. Do you speak English? Excuse me. Are you American? No. Do you speak English? A little, but not very well. How long have you been here? Two months. What do you do for work? I'm a student. How about you? I'm a student too. 
Lesson 3. What's your name? Excuse me, what's your name? My name is Jessica. What's yours? John. You speak English very well. Thank you. Do you know what time it is? Sure. It's 5.10 p.m. What did you say? I said it's 5.10 p.m. Thanks. You're welcome. Did you go to the 99 cent store? Yes, I did. What did you buy? Well, I got a lot of good deals, as usual. Like what? Well, a dozen large eggs were only 99 cents. That's a good deal. And a one pound tub of soft butter was the same price. Another good deal. But the best deal was five pounds of potatoes for 99 cents. I don't know how that store makes money. Neither do I, but they're doing something right. Lunch was delicious. Thank you. What kind of soup was that? It was tomato soup. That tasted so good. I put lemon and butter in it. The sandwich was good, too. Everyone likes bacon and tomato sandwiches. Especially on toast. And the pickles were great, too. Tomorrow wheel of rice and fish for lunch. I can't wait. Let's go out to eat. That sounds like fun. Where do you want to go? Let me think a minute. I feel like Chinese. That sounds delicious. I know a good Chinese restaurant. How far away is it? It's only 10 minutes from here. Do we need reservations? Oh, no. We can walk right in. Let's go now. I'm hungry. I need a new computer. What's the matter with yours? It's six years old. That's pretty old. It still works, but I'm going to give it to a charity. Are you going to buy a desktop or laptop? Oh, a laptop, of course. A percent or a Mac? I haven't decided yet. More and more people are using Macs. But 90% of the world uses PCs. And that's not going to change anytime soon. What do we need to buy? Let me look at our list. I know that we need milk, non-fat, of course. What else? We need cheese, bread, and ham. What kind of cheese? Swiss. Of course, the cheese with holes in it. I never used to buy Swiss cheese. Why not? I didn't want to pay for the holes. I don't like my job. What do you do? I'm a babysitter. Is that a lot of work? Babies cry all the time. You have to change their diapers. I have to feed them. Are you looking for another job? No, I'm looking for another family. Another family. A family with only one baby. That's a good idea. Let's go to a movie. I'd rather not. Why not? You know I don't like crowds. Let's go to an early movie. Okay, that won't be very crowded. What would you like to see? Oh, I don't care. You're the one who wants to go out. Well, I want to see The Pursuit of Happiness. What have you heard about it? It's based on a true story about a divorced man and his young son. Well, I hope it has a happy ending. All the TV stations are going to go digital. Yes, that will occur next month. Most of them are already broadcasting in digital. The digital signal is very clear. Oh, no, it isn't. What do you mean? I can't get a single channel. Do you have a digital TV? Of course. But I don't have cable. You don't need to have cable, but you do need a good antenna. But I have rabbit ears. Rabbit ears aren't strong enough. Buy a digital antenna. David, clean your room. It's filthy. It's not so bad, Mom. I don't even remember what color the carpet is. It's blue, I remember. Have you no shame? What should I be ashamed of? There are clothes all over the ground. It's just easier to leave them there. Your floor is not a gigantic closet. I never said it was. Clean your room or you can't go out today. Fine, fine. I'll clean it now. Hello, how are you doing? I am doing quite well. How are you? I've been better. I'm completely swamped with work. I know the feeling. My boss works me hard, too. Enough about work. How are the kids? They are good. 
The oldest is about to graduate from high school. You're kidding me. That's great, man. The youngest is about to start middle school soon. My son is about to start middle school as well. Hey, maybe they will be classmates. It's a strong possibility. Yeah. Well, I want to try and beat the traffic. Goodbye. Have a good one. Thank for watching. Please share and like if you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much. Please subscribe to my channel Learn with Cartoon to update new videos.